Have you ever heard of a condition so rare and dire that doctors refer to it as a ticking time bomb? Imagine a life where every breath feels like a battle, where your own body turns against you, silently threatening your very existence. Welcome to a world where pulmonary arterial hypertension reigns supreme. It's not just a disease, it's a relentless adversary, striking without warning and robbing individuals of their vitality. Pulmonary arterial hypertension isn't just a diagnosis, it's a life sentence of struggling to breathe, of feeling the relentless pressure of narrowed arteries in your lungs and the overwhelming strain on your heart. Pulmonary arterial hypertension is a silent predator, affecting hundreds of thousands worldwide, with its victims predominantly being women aged 30 to 60. With no known cure, the journey of those afflicted has been one of resilience in the face of adversity. But in recent innovations, we bring you extraordinary news. The Food and Drug Administration's stamp of approval has heralded a new era in pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment. Enter Merck's Winrever, a revolutionary therapy poised to rewrite the narrative of this debilitating condition. With its unique mechanism targeting the very core of pulmonary arterial hypertension, Winrever stands as a testament to human ingenuity and unwavering determination. The Grim Reality of Pulmonary Arterial Hypertension Pulmonary arterial hypertension, a relentless adversary lurking within the shadows of our bodies, strikes with ruthless precision. Considered a rare condition, its prevalence often goes unnoticed, yet its impact reverberates deeply within the lives of those affected. Predominantly targeting women aged 30 to 60, pulmonary arterial hypertension doesn't discriminate. It takes hold regardless of race, background or creed. This diagnosis isn't just a label. It's a dire prognosis, a whispered sentence of two to five years, haunting the corridors of hope. In the heart of this storm stands Katrina Barry, a young woman whose life took an unexpected turn when faced with the daunting reality of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Her story, a poignant testament to resilience, encapsulates the harrowing journey many endure. Confronted with the diagnosis at a mere 25 years old, she dared to confront the beast lurking within her lungs. But amidst the despair, a flicker of hope emerged, a clinical trial offering a lifeline, a chance at defying the odds. With every injection, she braved the perilous path, fighting not just for survival, but for the moments of normalcy she once took for granted. Yet Katrina's battle is not hers alone. It echoes the cries of countless others, each grappling with the same fears and the same uncertainties. The urgency for new treatments reverberates through hospital corridors, a silent plea for salvation in the face of adversity. Current therapies, while offering respite, fall short of true liberation. The looming spectre of heart failure, the relentless march towards mortality, are the shackles pulmonary arterial hypertension imposes. But with the dawn of Win River, a newfound hope emerges as a beacon of promise amidst the darkness, its approval by the Federal Drug Administration marks a pivotal moment in the fight against pulmonary arterial hypertension, a testament to human ingenuity and the unyielding spirit of resilience. The urgency for new treatment. Barry's story epitomizes the urgency for advancements in pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment. The clock was ticking relentlessly for her and countless others like her. With a prognosis hanging by a thread and conventional treatments offering only fleeting relief, the need for innovative solutions couldn't be more pressing. Enter Sotatacept, a groundbreaking experimental drug that offered a glimmer of hope in the darkness of uncertainty. By targeting the overproduction of a specific growth factor associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension, Sotatacept aimed to disrupt the very biology of the disease itself. For Barry, this experimental treatment wasn't just a lifeline, it was her only chance at survival. However, the road to recovery wasn't without its obstacles. As Barry embarked on her treatment journey amidst the tumult of the COVID-19 pandemic, every trip to the hospital became a perilous endeavor. Clad in layers of protective gear, she braved the unknown, driven by a singular purpose, to fight for her life. Yet despite the challenges, Barry's resilience prevailed. Four years later, she stands as a testament to the transformative power of innovation, a living embodiment of the hope that springs from scientific progress. With the Federal Drug Administration's approval of Sotatacept, 
her journey comes full circle, paving the way for countless others to follow in her footsteps. But let us not forget the limitations of our current arsenal against pulmonary arterial hypertension. While Sotatosept represents a monumental leap forward, it is but one piece of the puzzle. Access to such groundbreaking therapies remains elusive for many patients, a distant beacon on the horizon. Merck's first-in-class active in signaling inhibitor Sotatosept, Winrevere, the game-changing medication that has sparked hope among pulmonary arterial hypertension patients and healthcare professionals alike. Unlike traditional therapies that primarily target vasodilation, Winrevere offers a novel mechanism of action by inhibiting active in signaling. Number 1. Mechanism of Action Activins are proteins that play a crucial role in regulating cell growth and proliferation. In pulmonary arterial hypertension, the overproduction of activins contributes to the thickening and narrowing of pulmonary blood vessels, exacerbating the condition. Winrevere acts as an activin signaling inhibitor, disrupting this pathological process and promoting a more balanced vascular environment. Number 2. Clinical Trials and Efficacy Clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy of Winrevere in improving exercise capacity and functional class and reducing the risk of clinical worsening events in pulmonary arterial hypertension patients. In a pivotal study involving 323 participants, those treated with Winrevere showed significant improvements in the six-minute walk test compared to those receiving a placebo. Additionally, the incidence of disease progression or death was markedly lower in the Winrevere TM group, underscoring its potential to alter the course of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Number 3. Safety Profile As with any medication, safety is paramount. Winrevere has undergone rigorous clinical evaluation to ensure its safety and tolerability. While side effects may occur, they are generally manageable and outweighed by the drug's benefits in improving patient outcomes and quality of life. The approval of Winrevere represents a monumental step forward in pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment, but the journey is far from over. Ongoing research aims to elucidate the drug's long-term efficacy, optimal dosing strategies, and potential benefits in diverse patient populations. Additionally, efforts to explore combination therapies and personalized treatment approaches hold promise for further optimizing pulmonary arterial hypertension management and outcomes. The road ahead, access and implementation. As Sotatosept emerges as a beacon of hope for pulmonary arterial hypertension patients, Merck's strategic plans aim to make it accessible at a wholesale cost of $14,000 per vial, with tailored dosing based on patient weight. Packaged for home use, the drug signifies a new era of convenience, yet initial administration necessitates clinical monitoring for safety. Patients like Katrina Barry find empowerment in self-administering Sotatosept injections at home, showcasing the evolving landscape of pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment and patient healthcare empowerment. Navigating pricing and insurance coverage. Amidst Sotatosept's therapeutic promise, pricing and insurance coverage pose significant concerns. Merck estimates an annual cost of $243,000 per patient, but final expenses hinge on insurance negotiations, raising uncertainties over out-of-pocket burdens. Analysts caution against a potential mismatch between costs and clinical benefits advocating for a price range of $17,900 to $35,400 yearly. As patients and healthcare providers grapple with these financial challenges, ensuring equitable access to life-saving treatments becomes imperative, paving the path to equitable access. Efforts to ensure equitable access to Sotatosept are intensifying, with Merck's initiative to distribute the drug in specialty pharmacies by April's end marking a significant stride in widening access for pulmonary arterial hypertension patients across the nation. Concurrently, discussions and advocacy work are underway to tackle pricing discrepancies and streamline insurance coverage procedures, aiming to guarantee that no patient is left behind in their pursuit of better health. As the collective advocacy of patients, caregivers and advocates gains momentum, the vision of a future where every individual affected by pulmonary arterial hypertension can access life-saving treatments like Sotatosept draws nearer to fruition, addressing concerns and unknowns. 
Number 1. Acknowledging Potential Side Effects So Tatacept, like any medication, carries potential side effects and risks that warrant careful consideration. Clinical trials revealed a spectrum of adverse effects, from minor inconveniences to more serious complications. Common occurrences include nosebleeds and spider veins, attributed to burst blood vessels, while the drug's mechanism of action may heighten the risk of bleeding episodes. Dizziness and elevated hemoglobin levels were also reported, particularly concerning for pulmonary arterial hypertension patients with pre-existing elevated hemoglobin. Additionally, Sotatoseps impact on platelet levels raises the risk of bleeding, emphasizing the need for vigilant monitoring during treatment. Number 2. Exploring ongoing research and uncertainties While Sotatercept shows promise, lingering uncertainties persist regarding its long-term effects and impact on patient outcomes. Key questions remain such as whether patients will eventually reduce reliance on vasodilators and blood pressure medications. Continued research efforts are vital to unraveling Sotatercept's role in the broader pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment landscape and determining its sustained benefits over time. Number 3. Insights from medical professionals In seeking balanced perspectives, we turn to frontline medical professionals immersed in the battle against pulmonary arterial hypertension. Dr. Kristin Hyland from the Cleveland Clinic acknowledges Sotatercept's potential as a significant advancement, but stresses caution due to lingering uncertainties, especially regarding its integration with existing therapies. Dr. Aaron Waxman of Brigham and Women's Hospital echoes optimism, citing remarkable improvements in patients like Katrina Barry. While Sotatercept offers hope for disease reversal, Dr. Waxman underscores the need for prudent observation and continued vigilance. Amidst uncertainties, Sotatercept stands as a beacon of hope, promising progress in the fight against pulmonary arterial hypertension while urging careful consideration of its complexities. The Federal Drug Administration's approval of Sotatercept brings hope to those battling pulmonary arterial hypertension. Let's stay informed, support pulmonary arterial hypertension patients, and unite in the fight for a brighter future. We invite you to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest innovations in healthcare, and join us in supporting this cause. Thanks for watching, stay informed and stay hopeful.